My name is Matt Ayton, and I'm a certified SOLIDWORKS professional with Go Engineer. This video covers how to create a design library feature. We start with a model that includes the features to be saved and inserted into other files. In this case, my color coding helps illustrate. The green features will be included in the design library. The red will not. For clarity, I've shown the dimensions and given them descriptive names. I've done this for the features as well. To put the green features in the design library, I click Add to Library on the Design Library task pane. In the Add to Library property manager, I select the features I want by clicking on them, including the mounting boss, corner rounds, and this countersunk whole wizard hole. This process creates a new file, and I'll give it a name. I select a location within the design library. In this case, I'll place it in the top level so it's easy to find. Once I click OK, you see the library feature file appear in the task pane. The next step is to modify this file so it acts the way I want when inserted. To do this, I right-click on it and select Open. Though it looks the same as the original, it's actually a different copy that exists in the design library. The initial view when I open it shows the property manager. I'll switch to the Feature Manager. Notice the new folders in the tree for references and dimensions. These are a consequence of this being a library feature file. What I'll do now is classify the dimensions. Locating dimensions position the feature on new parts, and these values can be controlled. I've labeled them Edge Standoff 1 and Edge Standoff 2. All I'm doing is holding down the left mouse button and dragging them to the appropriate folder. Internal dimensions are not controlled when the feature is inserted into new parts. I'll designate the dimensions for the hole wizard holes as internal dimensions. I'll leave the other dimensions where they are. This means they'll be controllable by the user when the feature is inserted. I'll save the changes and close the files. It's not necessary to save the original part, so I'll just close it. I'll now insert the library feature onto a simple block to demonstrate its use. I just drag the feature from the design library onto the face where I want it. I select the locating edges, I can set the distance from those edges, and if I want to change the sizes of these features, then I can override the default values. This has been Matt Ayton with Go Engineer.